everyone, Shalek Freedom One here, and welcome back. I am very excited today. Today we are doing another first time watching of an episode series. And today, if you haven't seen the title or the thumbnail, we are watching Supernatural. I know nothing about the show. I think that one of the characters' names is Dean. I know he was like a really popular character. Um, I don't have any background though, you guys. I have no background. We did a poll and I asked you guys if I should watch one of three shows and this one was like a top contender for a while and i realized that game of thrones was actually kind of a highly rated one but it turns out that i learned that there's a lot of sexual content a lot of like really dark themes in game of thrones that i might not totally like um that might be a little bit too much for me so i think i'm gonna do supernatural and i'm gonna see how i like it and we'll go from there i did do a doctor who episode and i wasn't too crazy about that so We'll have to see how Supernatural does with it. But no context, no idea. I want to say maybe predictions is about ghosts or like spirits or something. Maybe it's about, this would be badass. What if it's about two investigators like ghost hunters? That would be pretty cool. But I have no context of what it's really about. So I'm going to this totally blind. But I'm excited to get into it. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy my first time watching season one, episode one of Supernatural. Oh, there's kids! Don't hurt the baby! That's Sam. Oh, it's Sam. Is that Dean, then? Hey, Dean. Daddy! Hey, buddy. Oh, oh. What do you little think? family. Sam, ready to toss around a football? You yeah. home, Daddy. No. <laughs> you got him. I got him. Oh. Sweet dreams. I feel like they're setting up something tragic. Are there ghosts already present? John. This makes me so nervous. Oh. What are you doing? John, is he hungry? That scares me. Why was he not? Was that just normal? Was that normal? This is kind of a creepy setup. Oh my God. What? What, dude? Sammy! What's happening? <sighs> what? What is happening? Mary! What is happening? bed then because that was the dad was okay. was wait what the fuck <gasps> why is it blood <laughs> oh my god shit that scared me Mary's gone. We have to accept that. We have to accept that now and move on. But you got two kids to worry about. Get out of there. Oh my god. Oh good, he did get out. Why is everybody getting all up in everybody's business? Like, that's not their dad, is it? Well, that's a freaking start to the series. I know how I feel about Halloween. Was, did his mom die on Halloween? Is that what was going on? So here's to Sam and his awesome LSAT victory. All right, all right, it's not that big a deal. He acts all humble, but he scored a 174. Ooh. Is that good? Scary good. <laughs> so there you go. You are. First oh wow, that dude really pick. committed to the makeup. You know, any law school you want. Actually, That's I scary got an looking. interview here Monday. If it goes okay, I think I got a shot at a full ride next year. Ooh. Hey, it's gonna go great. Better. Does he have nightmares? What 
What is it? Why is the door open? Oh shit. This is kind of a freaky show already. Oh, is that Dean? Yeah, that's gotta be Dean. Damn, you two know how to fight. Turn on a light. Oh, that's not that. What was that? That's not easy, Tiger. Dean. <laughs> yeah. See, I thought that was because you're out of practice. New business, but uh, nice okay. meeting you. Or lack thereof, because isn't it just no. your dad and you guys? So like, what no, could be going you want to on? No, whatever you can say it in front of her. Okay. Um, dad hasn't been home in a few days. So he's working overtime on a Miller time shift. He'll stumble back in sooner or later. Dad's on a hunting trip. Oh no. And he hasn't been home in a few days. Oh shit. In Clifton, he was missing then too. He's always missing, and he's always fine. Not for this long. Are you gonna come with me or not? Does I'm he not. just do this? Does he just up, Why not? up and disappear for it. several days? Good. Come on, it wasn't easy, but it wasn't that bad. Yeah? When I told Dad I was scared of the thing in my closet, he gave me a 45. Well, what was he supposed to do? I was nine years old. He was supposed to say, don't be afraid of the dark. Don't be afraid of the dark? What, are you kidding me? Of course you should be afraid of the dark. You know what's out there. Yeah, I know. Oh but gosh. still, the way we grew up after Mom was killed and Dad's obsession to find the thing that killed her. But we still haven't found the damn thing. So we kill everything we can find. Save a lot of people doing it, too. I was just going to college. It was Dad who said if I was going to go, I should stay gone. And that's what well, I'm that's doing. That's kind of fucked yeah, up. Like, it's, right he was now. getting an education. He's not dead like... already. I can feel it. I can't do this alone. Yes, you can. Yeah. Aww. Well, I don't want to. He doesn't want to, Sam. Go with him. What was he hunting? Uh, I'm excited to see what we're hunting. I, I guess I don't really get what so we're Dad hunting left. yet. Why didn't you go with him? I was working my own gig. This guy had found his car, but he'd vanished completely in my A. So maybe he was kidnapped. Yeah, well, here's another one in April, another one in December 04. There's a lot 03, of missing then. 98, 92, 10 of them over the past 20 years. All men, all same five mile stretch of road. That's scary. Started happening more and more, so dad went to go dig around. That was about three weeks ago. I hadn't heard from him since, which is bad enough. Okay, so Dean, I'm gonna I'm gonna flack you a little bit here. You waited until he was missing three weeks? Because you just said that it was three weeks ago day. that he went to go look. So it's been three weeks Something he's been missing? CVP on that? Not bad, Sam. It's kind of like riding a bike, isn't it? All right. I slowed the message down and ran it through a gold wave. It got to hiss, and this is what I got. I can never go home. What's first thing Monday? I have an interview. What, a job interview? Skip it. Well, it's a law school. I was going to say, he's got to think about his future, future outside of that, Dean. Law school. So we got a deal or not? That, Wait, what is that? Off? Is this about your dad? Is he all right? Yeah, you know, just a little family drama. You sure you're okay? Hey, everything's gonna be okay. I is promise. he not? He can't be honest with her, I bet, because this is probably something that would sound crazy. At least tell me where you're going. California. Amy, I can't come over tonight. Because I got work in the morning, that's why. Okay, I miss it. My dad's gonna have my ass. <laughs> we don't hey, uh, fuck Amy, with that. Go, no, you keep driving. You keep your ass straight and you keep driving. Do not fucking stop. Car trouble or something? Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. She's gonna eat you up. Take me home. No, thank Should you. Get in? Sorry, I don't take. No. A girl like you really shouldn't be alone out here. 
can take care of herself. I get that vibe. Oh my gosh, is she seducing him? You. Dude, don't be an idiot! You were just talking to what I can assume was your girlfriend. Why are you so fucking stupid? God. Huh? Will you come home with me? Oh. Oh yeah. my god, he's so fucking dumb. You... You need to. You need to get what you get. You don't live here? I can never go home. What? What are you talking about? Who even lives here? Huh? Where do you live? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is... This is the universe taking pity on you. This is giving you a chance to leave when you can. Oh, you are so dumb! Hello? You see, you should've left when you could! There's no one matching dad at the hospital or morgue, so that's something, I guess. Okay, so that's he's not dead. Check it out. They got maybe another one? They found that car? <laughs> this has got to be where that car was then. What are you doing? What are you doing? Footprints, no fingerprints, spotless. It's almost too clean. So this kid, Troy, he's dating your daughter, isn't he? Yeah. How's Amy doing? She's putting up missing posters downtown. You fellas had another one like this just last month, didn't you? And who are you? Yeah, you really came in. Little Marshalls. My gosh, Dean. You're a little young for Marshalls, aren't you? <laughs> Thanks, that's awfully kind of you. Dean. You did have another one just like this, correct? Yeah, that's right. About a mile up the road. There have been others before that. So this victim, you knew him. Sound like this, everybody knows everybody. Any connection between the victims besides that they're all men? No, not so far as we can tell. So what's the theory? Honestly, we don't know. It's exactly the kind of crack police work I'd expect out of you guys. <laughs> Dean, you can't <laughs> say that. Gentlemen. And how was there, wasn't there blood splatter in the car though? Wouldn't there be blood in there? Unless they cleaned it, but... Oh. God. What's that? Why are you gonna step on my foot? Why do you have to talk to police like that? I bet you that, sir. Yeah. You must be Amy. Yeah. And Troy told us about you. Where's uncles? I'm Dean. This is Sammy. Oh my gosh, they're just. <laughs> you just no, keep Troy, lying. We're not around much. We're up in Modesto. So we're looking for him too, and we're kind of asking around. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. You mind if we ask you a couple questions? I was on the phone with Troy. He was driving home. He said he was Also, your right boyfriend's back. a dick because he was going to actually cheat on you. Did. So. He didn't say anything strange? Thought I'd throw uh, that out there. No, nothing I can remember. What is it? Oh, well, it's just. I mean, with all these guys going missing, people talk. What do they talk about? The guys going missing? It's kind of this local legend. This one girl, she got murdered out on Centennial like decades ago. Well, supposedly, she's still out there. Okay. She hitchhikes, and whoever picks her up, well, they disappear forever. That's quite an urban legend, considering it's happening. I <laughs> feel like so many things would come up. Really? No results? That seems wild. Let me try. Got it. Oh my gosh, will you two stop fighting for like two seconds? Knock it off. Okay. Suicide, okay. 
That seems okay. So the problem with my thing is that with most search engines, especially in movies, like they did this in Doctor Who too. They type in something that I'm sure would have a lot a lot of results. I just I feel like the fact that they're like one result, zero results, that seems really unlikely that that's Constance how Welch, 24 anything years works. Old, jumps off Sylvania Bridge, drowns in the river. Say so what she did it? Yeah. What? An hour before they found her, she calls 911. Her two little kids are in the bathtub. She leaves them alone for a minute, and when she comes back, they are breathing. Oh no. Both die. Hmm. Our babies were gone, and Constance just couldn't bear it, said husband Joseph Welch. Now we keep digging till we find him. It might take a while. Dean, I told you, I've got to get back by Monday. Monday. Right. The interview. Yeah. Ah, I forgot. You're really serious about this, aren't you? Hey, but Dean, he's got to think about his future. think you're just going to become some lawyer? Marry your girl? Maybe. Why not? Does Jessica know the truth about you? I mean, does she know about the things you've done? No, and she's not ever going to know. Well, that's healthy. <laughs> that's healthy. You pretend all you want, Sammy. But sooner or later, you're going to have to face up to who you really are. And who's that? You're one of us. <laughs> no, I'm not like you. This is not going to be my life. Aww. You have a responsibility to Dad and his crusade. The thing that killed her. Mom's gone. And she isn't coming back. <laughs> okay, Ian. You have to see it from Sam's point of view. Don't talk about it. Oh shit, she saw you. Well, that's a scary image. Where'd she go? I don't know. Oh shit! Is she in the car? What the? Who's driving your car? It's definitely not one of you two. Oh fuck! Get out of the road! Get out of the road! Get out of the road! Oh no, run to the side! Off to the side! Oh. I was like, you probably busted up a phone or something. <gasps> Dean did fall! Dean! Are you alright? I'm super. Oh my gosh, ew. He's covered in mud. Are alright? Yeah, whatever she did to it, seems alright now. That Constance chick, what a bitch! Well, she doesn't want to stick <laughs> around, that's for sure. <sighs> So where's the child? You need a shower. Genius. So uh, this is a weird question, but why did they survive jumping off of the bridge? I mean, granted, Sam caught one of the bars, but Dean fell straight into the either the ground or the water. So why did he survive but that girl didn't? I mean, it's shallow water, so if she fell in the water, she would have met the ground very quickly. But why didn't Dean die? He's having a reunion or something. What do you mean? That other guy burned it from him. He came in and bought out a room for the whole month. Oh, really? So he... That's their dad. Well, did he just pick a lock? Sam, you know how to pick locks? Wow. What is happening in here? Ew. Ew, why did you smell it? Yeah, dumbass. He's been here for a couple days at least. In, different jobs, ages, ethnicities. There's always a connection, right? What do these guys have in common? Hmm. I don't know. <sighs> Dad figured it out. What did he figure out? He found the same article we did. Constance Welch. She's a woman in white. Right. These sly dogs. All right, so if we're dealing with a woman in white, Dad would have found the corpse and destroyed it. She might have another weakness. No, Dad would want to make sure. He'd dig her up. Does it say where she's buried? Hey, man. I'm starving. I'm going to grab a little something to eat at that diner down the street. You want anything? No. A frown means mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Makes me worried. What if something happens to Dean, or what if they get split off? Wait. Oh shit. <gasps> Dean. What? Two five zero. Take off. What about you? Uh, they kind of spotted me. Go find Dad. 
Oh shit. Problem officers? Where's your partner? Partner? What? What partner? Fake U.S. Marshal. Fake credit cards. You got anything that's real? My boots. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Oh my gosh. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. So you want to give us your real name? I told you, it's Nugent. Ted Nugent. You Stab are officially through. a suspect. That makes sense. Because when the first one went missing in 82, I was three. I know you got partners. One of them's an older guy. Maybe he started the whole thing. So tell me, Dean. This is? I don't know. Probably. I thought that might be your name. See, I leaped through this. What little I could make out. I mean, it's nine kinds of crazy. But I found this, too. Now, you're staying right here till you tell me exactly what the hell that means. Well, shit, what if he doesn't know what that means? She asked me. How about your late wife, Constance? She asked me where she was buried. And where is that again? Oh my gosh. Did I go to his place? It's fact checking, if you don't mind. They were really good liars, though. Good I mean, fault. okay, not like the I best know, liars, but like recognize. they're good at running with it. Why did you move? I'm not gonna live in the house my children died. Mr. Walsh, did you ever marry again? No way. Not since she was the love of my life. Um. Prettiest woman I ever known. Sam, watch him. Because I don't trust him. Mr. Welch, you ever hear of a woman in white? A what? A woman in white. Or sometimes a weeping woman. It's a ghost story. Well, <laughs> it's more of a phenomenon, really. Um, they're spirits. They've been sighted for hundreds of years. Dozens of places in Hawaii, in Mexico, lately in Arizona, Indiana. All these are different women, you understand. But all share the same story. Boy, I don't care much for nonsense. See, when they were alive, their husbands were unfaithful to them. <gasps> That's why, because I was gonna say, the only thing that really could match here, as far as what everyone had in common, but their dad I, might not have this in common, but uh, that all the, they were all unfaithful because that one dude was so ready to do her that he was like, didn't care they had a girlfriend. These women basically suffering from temporary insanity and walking back roads, waterways. And if they find an unfaithful man, they kill him. Yeah. And that man is never seen again. You think, you think that has something to do with Constance? You smart ass. Well, you did pause. Tell me. I mean, maybe, maybe I made some mistakes. Okay, well, at least you no can admit it. No matter what I did, Constance never would have killed her own children. Now you get the hell out of here, and you don't come back. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you. It's my high school locker combo. Are we gonna what do this all night long? We just got a 911. Shots fired over at Whiteford Road. Did Sam do you that? You have to go to the bathroom. No. Good. Oh shit. I mean, can't break. Can you pick lock? He can pick locks. Fake 911 phone call, Sammy. I don't know. That's pretty illegal. You're welcome. That's pretty so illegal. Talk. Tell me about it. So the husband was unfaithful. Yes. We are dealing with a woman in white. And she's buried behind her old house, so that should have been dad's next stop. Amy, would you shut up for a second? I just can't figure out why he hasn't destroyed the corpse yet. Well, that's what Dude. I'm trying to tell you. He's gone. Dad left Jericho. What? How do you know? I've got his journal. He doesn't go anywhere without that thing. Yeah, yeah. well, he did this time. What's it say? Uh, it's the same old ex-Marine crap. When he wants to let us know where he's going. Coordinates. Where to? I'm not sure yet. Damn! Sam. Sam. No, Sam, come on now. You're not unfaithful. You won't do this. You won't pick up a hitchhike. Shit, she's in the car. Doesn't matter. Take me home. No, thank you. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're taking her one way or another. But he's not unfaithful.
I didn't like any of that. So this is where she drowned her kids. That's why she could never go home. She was too scared to face them. Gosh. Found her weak spot. Okay, here's where Dad went. It's called Blackwater Ridge, Colorado. Sounds charming. How far? About 600 miles. Yeah, if we shag ass, we can make it by morning. Dana, um... Yeah. He's got his interview, dude. You're not going. The interview's in like 10 hours. I gotta be there. team back there. Yeah. Scared that we're going to end yes. on a twist. You home? This makes me nervous. Oh shit, I bet that's not her. <sighs> I don't know, it scares me. Oh my god, blood! No! God. This happened to everyone they love. He's really gonna be out for blood. We got work to do. Yeah. I loved that. I loved it. I loved. I loved it. I love this. Uh, the scares. I love Dean. Dean is like okay. So I don't say this about a lot of characters, but Dean is super freaking hot. Um, I love Sam. I love Dean and Sam together. I love the the whole like bros taking on the world. I love it. I love this. 
I so saw that coming with Jess's death coming up because I was like, the second he walked in and I was like, it's too quiet. It's, we can't end on a good note, especially this being the pilot. We still have such a long journey to go. There's no way that this is going to end happily. Um, it really sucks though. They've lost a lot of, like, I know it's just Jess and his mom, their mom, but like, damn, every time they have someone they're close to or they love, they lose them like that. And it's like, just, oh, it's, mm. but anyway. I really enjoyed that. I am so excited for this adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I am so looking forward to checking out more episodes. That was 40, like, that episode was 40-some minutes long, and it, it felt like it whooped by. I was so intrigued by the story. The scares were great. The story was great. The characters were great. I love Dean. I love Dean as a comedic character. I love Sam and his relationship. It's just amazing. Just great. So I really enjoyed that. I hope you guys did too. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. Until next time, guys. Bye.